Hello Watch fans, it's Anders here on Watch On Channel. Happy New Year, first of all, and of course, right off the bat in 2020, a review of a very cool dive watch I was sent. So I have had this watch for a little more than a week. It's from a micro brand in Australia called Matthew and Sons, uh, MAS watches. They actually were introduced as a Kickstarter brand and successfully funded this watch, and now they're selling this watch on their website. It comes in this black cardboard box. Inside you actually find a really cool drawing because this is a drawing of the Irokanji. This is the MAS Mars watch, Matthew and Sons watch Irokanji, which is a very venomous jellyfish, which is often seen from the coast of uh, the northern part of Australia. So Tate is the son of Matthew and he actually made this drawing, which is really cool. So thank you a lot for that, Tate. And let's of course have a look into the watch. The watch comes in this fabric pouch with MAS, and then you open, and inside you find all the goods, so here you find the warranty card, as you can see here, so you get two years warranty, and the cool thing is that when you pick between the different color variations, and they got some really cool color variations, you can also choose between where you want the crown placed. So four o'clock is probably the most usual between these two, but I opted for the 10 o'clock, which is very unusual, but really cool. I have no other watches with the 10 o'clock placement of the crown. This is the very cool fabric NATO style strap, but of course not a NATO as it's a two piece. It's with easy removal spring bars. Really cool if you want a little more colorful look to the watch. And then we of course get the watch, the Iro Kanji. This is an automatic dive style watch. If we look at the size of the watch, it's also very interestingly designed because it's a 42 millimeter watch, but that's because it has this kind of, almost kind of maybe pie pan shape, which is kind of inspired by the Irokanji jellyfish, the design here. So you get 42 millimeters at bottom, but if you measure only a top at the bezel, you get approximately, let me just try here, 39 and a half. So that's quite interesting. It wears, Definitely smaller than it looks, but it also wears like a 42 millimeter, approximately 13 and a half millimeters in thickness, lock width of 20, so you can change between a lot of straps if you want that. The locks are very, very dramatically down curved and very slim, so you get approximately 47 or 46 and a half millimeters lock tip to lock tip, which is pretty cool. This watch is powered by the Seiko NH35A, which is a very tried and tested and popular movement within micro brands. And you can see just how accurate this particular watch is. They do actually regulate the movements before they send out the watches, which is very, very cool because you often see with smaller brands and micro brands, they don't really regulate the movement. So that's really a quality mark. Beautiful blue sunburst style with a lot of loom. All the hour markings are applied and they are filled with loom as well as the sword style syringe style hands. It's kind of sword syringe style hands and the needle second hand with the little lollipop top here at the end so you get the counterbalance. Very simple dial design. MAS watch at 12 o'clock, Iro Kanji. And down here you see 20 bar, which is 200 meters of water resistance. And then a very nicely framed date window here at three o'clock. So that's all in all a very cool watch. And let me just show you in some more heavy lighting how beautiful this sunburst dial actually is. As you can see, it's really responsive. It's beautiful and you don't need a lot of light before this really pops. So this is kind of the perfect watch when I'm thinking about Australia a day in the sun at the beach. It must be kind of the perfect watch if you live in a sunny country. I enjoy it, although I live in Scandinavia where the sun doesn't shine just as much as it does in Australia. Really cool. Actually, you get a ceramic bezel insert, 120 click unidirectional bezel. It does have some play, as you can see here. It doesn't go out of place, so it's not uh, any thing with ins not being secure if you're diving with this watch, but it does have a little play, which is a little bit disappointing, but not a big no-no or minus. And the bezel action is absolutely nice. It has the right stiffness, but it's also kind of gliding, and you can just listen to the sound. And everything aligns perfectly. The case is 
brushed on the sides here and it has this kind of almost kind of a old school UFO or pie pan design as we just saw when I measured the watch because it, it's really 42 millimeters at bottom and only 39 and a half millimeters at the bezel which is really really cool. I would imagine if you're wearing a diving glove, glove then you will probably have a little hard time grabbing the bezel because it does have some really good coin etching but it's still hard to grab because of the case design. It really just follows the case as you can see here. The locks are very very small and very dramatically down curved which also makes this watch wear a little bit smaller than it actually is and you get drilled lock holes so it's very very easy to change between straps. I right now got it on the bracelet and the bracelet is really really nice. It has this beautiful brushed finish and then you get these end parts here which almost gives you the idea of being polished. It's screwed pins. They are a little hard to adjust because you need two screwdrivers to really get them loose but when you find the right method then it's very easy and fast to adjust the bracelet. The clasp is typical fold over signed with MAS and then you just pull. No divers extension but you do have these very nice micro adjustments and this helps you get the complete right fit and even on the go you can just have a toothpick in your pocket and then you can easily just adjust a millimeter or one and a half millimeters if your wrist expands during the day. The case pack, very very cool and this is a very cool part of this overall nice watch in my opinion. It's definitely that you can see the Irukanji with its tentacles. You get the water resistant the movement, sapphire crystal which is of course AR treated, all the different information but very very cool case pack which is a screw down case pack as well. Nice cool detail in my opinion. As you can see my wrist is perfect for this watch because I have an 18 centimeter wrist in circumference and it wears really nicely. As you can see it, it feels like it's maybe only 39 millimeters but it is actually a 30 or 42 millimeter watch, sorry. So that's quite interesting that you're actually wearing a larger watch which appears smaller and I think that's a really cool thing, really nice. They didn't jump into the bucket of producing these big, big chunky kind of brutal watches, they actually kept a really nice dimension to this Irokanji watch. And as I also told you, you can see the crown here at 10 o'clock. Very interesting placement of the crown in my opinion. It is kind of weird, but I wanted something different. The 4 o'clock would definitely be much easier, so you just have to really find the right technique. It's a screw down crown of course. The movement does have hacking and manual wind. So we just pull out the crown and then we stop the time, push it back in and then you can easily manually wound, but you do have to do it counterclockwise compared to doing, doing it clockwise on the other side. So if you think this is a weird placement of the crown, then you can do, just order the version with the 4 o'clock crown position. It's absolutely no problem. And let's just have a look at the watch on the very cool fabric strap. And here we have the Irokanji on this blue and white. NATO strap, style NATO strap, because it's not a real NATO strap, signed with the logo of MAS watches here. And you can see it really makes the whole watch pop. I really like the look with this nice strap. You almost heard all the things I like. We get an accurate watch, we get a care for details, we get a beautiful domed AR3 the sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel insert, very interesting original case design, beautiful case engraving here on the back two straps if you choose that option. We get a very interesting crown placement, but if this is too unconventional for you, you can just choose to have it at four o'clock. Really beautiful sunburst effect on the dial as well. So I have a few minor gripes. The first is definitely the play on the bezel. It's beautiful action, it's really, really sturdy and solid and 120 click, but this is just not good enough in my opinion. It's no big problem, it's no security hazard because it doesn't move out of place and everything aligns, so no big problem there, but I still think a little less play would have just perfected this watch a lot more. Also, I think the bracelet is really, really nice, but it's kind of hard to adjust the bracelet or remove links. Also, I think that the loom could definitely have been better. It's, it's beautiful blue loom, but it doesn't last very long and it's not very shiny. But when you look at the price that 
For less than 300 US dollars, you can get it on the fabric strap. You get a really nice package. Also, if you want the bracelet, it's only 339 US dollars, which is a really, really good price for the overall package. And I think you get something unique, something different, something with a cool story, a cool engraving on the case back and just a very original case design. And if you're really into freaking out, you can get the 10 o'clock crown. So I hope you enjoyed the review of the Iro Kanji from this new micro brand from Australia. Remember to have a look at their website. You can find the link down below. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's a big help. I'm very close to 12,000 subscribers now. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. What do you think about this watch and in comparison with a lot of other micro brand watches? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this video if you enjoyed it and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I will see you very soon again. Thank you. Bye.